In this video, let's see another property based on the concept of matrix multiplication. The property is property number 3 that we are going to deal with. The first and the second properties were related to something called as commutativity and associativity. This is regarding distributive property. Right? Let's see what the property is and then we'll be seeing how to verify it with the help of a numerical example. Right? What is the property? Let's read it together. Matrix multiplication is distributive. Matrix multiplication is distributive over matrix addition. Distributive over matrix addition means what? That means here multiplication and addition both will be involved. How? Let's see. The formulation would be A into B plus C is equal to AB plus AC. That means A will be first multiplied by B, that is AB. And then the plus would come into picture and then it will be AC. This is what the property has to say. Actually what is happening is there is something called as this distribution. This plus sign will be there and here we are having two terms from this one term. So it is called as distributive property. Similarly there is another property wherein A plus B into C. That means first addition then multiplication. Again what will happen is this A will be multiplied by C and then this B will be multiplied by C. So it is AC plus BC. Again we are getting two terms from one term. So distribution. So for this let's again see as we saw in associativity we will be taking three matrices and that example we are going to see. So we have three matrices. Suppose I am taking an example of a matrix A, a matrix B and a matrix C. Why we are taking example just to prove this property, right? So an example with the matrix A is 1, minus 1, 0, 2. This is the first matrix that I am taking into consideration. The second matrix that I am going to take into consideration is matrix B, minus 1, 0 and 2, 1. The third last but not the least matrix that we are going to take into consideration is a matrix C which is 0, 1, 1, minus 1. As you can see, all these matrices are square matrices, two rows, two columns, two rows, two columns and here also two rows, two columns. So both these things are there, the first thing and the second thing both mean the same. Let's prove any of these things, I mean we can prove any the property here. Let's prove the first one, A into B plus C is equal to AB plus AC. I'm writing it again, it is like A into B plus C is equal to AB plus AC, right? That means A is multiplied first with B, then A is multiplied with C. In this case, first let's take LHS. The LHS means left hand side, it is A into B plus C. What were the matrices? Again, let's see. First, what we have to do is, we have to do this thing, which is B plus C, that means the addition of two matrices, second and third. Second and third matrices are 2 by 2, both are of the same order, yes they can be added. What is B plus C? Minus 1 plus 0 is minus 1, 0 plus 1 is 1. So it is minus 1, 1 till here that we have got. So I can write B plus C, I mean A is outside only, B plus C is what? Another matrix which is also a 2 by 2 matrix and that matrix will have the addition of the second and the third matrix. So it is minus 1 plus 0 which is minus 1. Again, next thing is what? Next thing that we have to take into consideration is we have to have this thing called as 0 plus 1 which is 1. So it will be 1. Next, we have 2 plus 1 which is 3 and 1 minus 1 is 0. So it is 3 and 0. And then what we are supposed to do is as you can see here, it is A multiplied by this matrix. That means you have to multiply it by A. So what is the A matrix that you need to write down? What was the A matrix? It was 1 minus 1, 0, 2. Let's write it down. 1 minus 1, 0, 2. So it is 1 minus 1, 0, 2. And then it is minus 1, 1, 3, 0. These two matrices you have to multiply. A I have written here. This matrix I have copied. I hope you understand that. You see here multiplication. Multiplication means what? It is like first row, first column. Then first row, second column. Second row, first column. Second row, second column. Right? So it is 1 into minus 1 is minus 1. Minus 1 into 3 is minus 3. So minus 3 and minus 1 is minus 4. Minus minus plus the sign you keep it as minus. Right? So 1 into 1 is 1 and anything multiplied by 0 is 0 only. So it is 1. Next 0 into something is 0. 2 into 3 is 6. It is 6. Last but not the least 
0 into 1 is 0, 2 into 0 is 0, so it is 0 only. So it is a 2 by 2 matrix, which is a square matrix. Now, this matrix is has come out as the result of the left hand side. What about the right hand side? We have to do it. Let's do it together. AB plus AC is what we are supposed to do. AB plus AC. That means what? AB has to be multiplied first. What is AB? AB means A multiplied by B. A is the matrix 1 minus 1, 0, 2. B is the matrix what? Let's copy the matrix B. The B matrix as you can see here, we had not written, we had just simply added. So let's write it from here. Minus 1, 0, 2, 1. So it is minus 1, 0, 2, 1. This is AB plus AC. What is A? Again copy A. 1 minus 1, 0, 2. And what is C? What is C? Let's write C together. C matrix is something which we again had not written it. One option is you write AB, you solve AB, you write AC, you solve AC and then add. So we can do that also. Let's do it that way only so that it is more convenient. So we are first doing AB. Anything can be done, right? So we are first doing AB. What is it? It is first row, first column, first row, second column, second row, first column, second row, second column. So it is 1 into minus 1, minus 1, minus 1 into 2, minus 2. So minus 1, minus 2 is minus 3. Then we have first row and here second column. 1 into 0 is 0, minus 1 into 1 is minus 1. Then we have 0 into minus 1 is 0, 2 into 2 is 4. Last but not the least, again what we are supposed to do, 0 into 0 cannot be defined as 0 only it is there, 2 into 1 is 2. So this is the result that we have obtained for what? For AB. What was AB here? What next are we supposed to do? Find AC and then add both. So let's find AC. What is AC? Write the matrix A. 1 minus 1, 0, 2. What is C? Copy the C matrix from here. 0, 1, 1 minus 1. So it is 0, 1, 1 minus 1. And then multiply these matrices together. Multiplication yields me what? It is First row, first column. So 1 into 0 is 0. Minus 1 into 1 is minus 1. So I write here as minus 1. Then first row, second column. 1 into 1 is 1. Minus 1 into minus 1 is plus 1. So 1 plus 1 is 2. Next, 0, 0 is a 0. 2, 1 is a 2. Last but not the least, 0, 1 is a 0. 2 into minus 1 is minus 2. So what have we basically done? We have actually individually calculated AB and AC, AB and AC. So AC is also done. What is left? You see here this operator, it is plus sign. So you need to add these results. So adding both these matrices, what do we get? Actually, we need to see that, right? So it is minus three and minus one, which is minus four. I write the result here after addition, right? So let me write AB plus AC. So that you people understand it clearly. Then minus 1 plus 2 is 1. Then 4 plus 2 is 6. Then 2 minus 2 is what? It is 0. So the answer that I obtain is minus 4, 1, 6, 0. Here you see it is minus 4, 1, 6, 0. These two results are equal. That means what? That means you cal calculated LHS and RHS both and you found out that both results are equal. So we can say that matrix Multiplication is distributive over addition.